Hey everybody, it's Jason the Total Drama Fan, and I have a very exciting video for all you lovely people out there. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Disney's Mickey Mouse, Merry and Scary. So, beginning in 2013, a new series of Mickey Mouse shorts began airing during commercial breaks on Disney Channel. These shorts were the very first new Mickey Mouse shorts to ever be created since Mickey Mouse Works in 2001, I believe was when it ended. Though, technically, a few shorts didn't air until 2003 as part of House of Mouse, which was basically just a clip show of Mouse Works shorts. And... They they were all, and those shorts were the first new Mickey Mouse shorts to be made since Runaway Brain in 1995. So there's been quite a gap. And these shorts have had mixed reception among the Disney fan base, as far as I'm concerned. Um, a lot of some people like them, some people um just find them to be okay, and others absolutely hate them. Personally, I really love these shorts. Not every change in them worked. I'm not a big fan of the Ren and Stimpy style gross out that occurs every so often, even if it does happen very rarely on the show. Oh, especially a lot less than people seem to make it out. Mostly the haters of the these shorts. But I think they did a pretty good job of taking the formula of the classic Disney cartoons from the 30s, 40s, and 50s and putting the, a modern spin on them. And, um, on, w to make them more like shows like Phineas and Ferb, Gravity Falls, and Star vs. the Force of Evil. I'm big fans of all three of those shows. And a lot of the people who worked on those three shows actually worked on these shorts. So, they are right at home for me. So, I, I'm only a casual Disney fan, but these are still shorts that I wouldn't mind watching more than once. Hence, this DVD set. Well, technically, it's not a set because there's only one disc. But still, this isn't the first time that these shorts were released on DVD. Back in 2015, a DVD set featuring the first season of shorts came out. You know, it was originally a Walmart exclusive, but then they gave it a retail release the following year. I mean, like, a general retail release because Walmart is a retail store. I'm just saying, like, it was only available at Walmart for a year. I don't have that DVD yet, but I'm planning on getting it. I just need to find a copy of it in a store. Because personally, I prefer buying things in, in through like a, a brick and mortar uh, store uh, uh, instead of buying them online. And I mean, I will buy stuff online. It's just not very often. So I got this at Target and it was $7. Half the price it was originally... Uh, had when I first saw this in stores. So this is a pretty nice collection, especially since Halloween is coming in only 11 days. And one of the shorts that are included here is actually a full 22 minute long special initial for Halloween, as well as another 22 minute special for Christmas. But we'll get to that in a bit. So without further ado, let's get the actual review started by taking a look at the package. On the top, we see the Disney and Mickey Mouse logos. It says Merry and Scary. And then we see Donald and Mickey. Donald is in front of a Christmas-themed background with a snowman and Christmas trees. And he's wearing a Santa hat and holding a candy cane. Mickey, on the other hand, is, fr is in front of a Halloween background with pumpkins and bats and a full moon. And he's holding a trick-or-treat basket and he has candy corn fangs for teeth. Pretty neat. At the bottom, it says that it's a holiday collection and that it also has five bonus shorts. On the spine, we see the Disney DVD logo, the Disney and Mickey Mouse logos, Merry and Scary, Disney's Fast Play, a character profile of Donald as he appears on the front cover, and the stock number. I should also mention that this was originally released in a slipcover. Unfortunately, my copy does not have the slipcover, but I honestly don't care too much because A, I'm not really that picky about slipcovers, and B, 
As far as I know, the Mickey Mouse DVD that featured all the shorts from its uh, quote-unquote first season, because technically it's a TV show, oh, doesn't have a slipcover on it. It never came with one. So if I ever buy that DVD, it will match this one better on the shelf. So overall, I'm perfectly fine with this not having a slipcover. Well, my copy not having it. So here's the back. On the top, it says, Tis the season for fun. And we see a brief description in for the Halloween special and another brief description for the Christmas special. So the description for the Halloween special, which is titled The Scariest Story Ever, a Mickey Mouse Halloween Spooktacular, it, it, says, for Halloween, Mickey has tricked out his house like a tomb sweet tomb. He's also planned out the perfect treat, a hair-raising Halloween story. However, his attempts at being scary fall flatter than a pancake. Can Mickey somehow conjure up a truly terrifying tale before the stroke of midnight? Well, if you know Mickey, you probably already know the answer to that question. But... I'm not going to outright spoil the special because it's pretty fun. Here, and then here's the description for the Christmas special. For the description for the episode, which is titled Duck the Halls, a Mickey Mouse Christmas special, it says, It's the most wonderful time of the year to migrate south for the winter. But Donald wants to stay put and celebrate his first Christmas. Unfortunately, December is not kind to ducks, and before you can catch a snowflake on your tongue, Donald has turned into a shivering, sneezing ducksicle. I really love the artwork that's featured on both of these um, sides of the package. I'm not sure if they're screenshots for from the episodes that these are from. Well, technically, they're specials. Because the regular quote-unquote episodes of what Wikipedia calls a TV show are really just three to seven minute long shorts. Or, it's, or if they're completely new artwork made for this DVD. But it's still really nice. I really dig the artwork. Um, It's been a while since last time I've seen these shorts. So I'll probably... You know, double check once I do, you know, but we'll just have to wait and see. So on the bottom, we see the Disney Channel logo, the current one that's been used since 2014, and some legal information. And you can pause here if you want to read all this information here. I find it a little bit odd that the disc is made in Germany. Most DVDs are made in Mexico, as far as I know, because most cases for these types of DVDs usually say disc made in Mexico on the back. But then again, Adolf Hitler was actually a big Disney fan, if you can believe that. Yeah, I, I am a little bit shocked too. So, I don't know, maybe they, Disney has still has some sort of connection with them? I don't know, it's best if we don't think about this one too much. Anyway... Back to the lightheartedness. I oh, forgot to mention that there are bone. Well, I did mention that there are bonus shorts because it says so on the front cover. But I didn't say which bonus shorts are on there. And thankfully, the DVD lists them for me. So the shorts that are included are Ghoul Friend, The Boiler Room, Black and White, Entombed, and Split Decision. So yeah. That's pretty much it when it comes to the package. So now, let's open this baby up and see what's inside. Sorry if there was an awkward... Blech. If there was an awkward pause or anything like that, I just needed to pause the camera so I could do something with the packaging. And I'll tell you what it is is uh, right now. Alrighty, so here is the inside. 
And right over here, we have a Disney Movie Rewards code. This is the thing I was telling you guys about when it came to me having wanting to do something with the package before I show the inside of it to you guys. I have flipped over the insert that has the Disney Movie Rewards code on the front because I do not want you guys to see my code because unlike most of my videos, I haven't redeemed it yet. So I don't want anybody stealing it in case I ever do ever decide to use that code. I don't really use Disney Movie Rewards that much. I just put the codes in just in case I ever find anything good. But I don't, I'm not the biggest Disney fan anyways. I just figured I might as well use these things. So anyway, here is the actual disc. Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, it's one of the boring white discs that Disney uses on their DVDs nowadays. Better than gray, in my opinion, though. So, on the top, it has the Disney and Mickey Mouse logos. It says Merry and Scary, and the Disney DVD icon, Disney's Fast Play, and the TVG rating, of course. As for the review, I would give this DVD a 5 out of 5. It's a really, really awesome collection. The two 22-minute long specials that make up the majority of the disc runtime are both really fantastic. And now that I have this DVD, I'll be able to watch them every year in both Halloween and Christmas. So, uh, this is a pretty neat DVD for that reason. I've never seen any DVD compilations that feature both Halloween and Christmas specials on the exact same disc. So I think it's really neat that it's like this. The bonus shorts that are included are also really good too. Though there aren't that big of an inclusion to me because all the Mickey Mouse shorts, or it's these new shorts, are on YouTube. Except for the two specials. So that's the main reason why I got this DVD set just for the two big specials. Because I can watch all these five shorts on YouTube legally through Disney's official YouTube channel. In case they ever remove them, I guess it's nice to have them on physical media here. Yeah. But I think that's, that's yeah, it's part of the reason why I don't have the Season 1 DVD yet. Though I will eventually get around to owning it, in it, in it if I can find it for a pretty good price, just because it has special features. And of course, you don't get special features on YouTube. Unless you're specifically looking for making up documentaries or anything like that, and I highly doubt that they've been posted on here because, you know, Disney is a copyright freak. But, you know, it is what it is. Overall, it's a pretty nice collection. And I would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of these shorts. It's Or you're wanting to step into the water of these shorts, so to speak. Because I know that there are some people who've never seen them before. Hopefully, if you've never seen these shorts before and this DVD is your first, first exposure to them, I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. You probably won't, won't, won't if you're like a big diehard Disney fan like of the classic shorts because it does take a couple of liberties with it, like the aforementioned gross-out aspect. But it, trust me, it doesn't happen as much as the haters of these shorts would like you to believe that it, it happens. Plus... There's a lot of really neat shout-outs to Disney movies, theme park attractions, and there's even a short that is unfortunately not on this DVD set, but I'm hoping it pops up on disc eventually, of Mickey trying to get to his train station on time, and it references Walt's Backyard Railroad, and it even has a picture of him in one part of the short. So yeah, it's, these shorts are pretty entertaining. At least in my opinion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please be sure to like it. And subscribe if you want to see more from me. Alright, now a quick channel update. And for all of you who have been subscribed to my channel, I've been wondering, Hey, how come you haven't been posting as many videos as you used to? The reason why... Well, actually there are three reasons why. First, I'm running out of ideas for videos. So if anybody has any ideas for like new videos, please let me know in the comments. Don't worry, 
the Disney TV Animation and Cartoon Network DVD collection videos that I promised will be coming. It's just that I'm taking my sweet time on them. And that leads directly into the second reason why. I've been suffering from what some people like to call writer's block. Though, to be more accurate in this case, it's more like ad-libbing block. And I say that because it's been harder for me to improvise for these videos. As you may know, if you've watched all of my previous cartoon merchandise videos on this channel, I do these videos unscripted. So, it's... Now it's been harder for me to come up with new stuff to describe all these new merchandise items that I buy right off the bat because it's literally starting to hurt my head now. So I'm hoping that it will go away soon, but if it doesn't, I may eventually have to switch over to using scripts for my videos, which will probably cause them to come out on a slower rate. The third reason why is pretty simple. I'm busy with school, so I have to pay attention to schoolwork. Like right now, I'm, I've been in, the, been in the process of working on a PowerPoint assignment for um, a play that I'm currently reading and analyzing for my drama class. So, yeah, uh, those are pretty big factors. But I'm hoping that soon all these problems will go away and I'll be able to make more videos soon. But until then... Just keep your eyes peeled. That's all I'm going to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. And until next time, this is, this is Jason the Total Drama Fan signing off.